We just had the blowout to end all blowouts. This is what happens when I try. Ah! That didn't go exactly according to plan. It looks no different. I just got blown out on again. I'm just gonna do a little bit of journaling to uh, kind of reflect on 2020. Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. I woke up with my shirt both inside out and backwards this morning because that's the kind of night we had last night. Rowan's been sleeping so well recently, but last night he decided that 3 to 5 a.m. was his time to be up and party. And by party, I mean cry. So <laughs> that was not the best. And then this morning, that's alarm went off and he kept just snoozing it instead of turning it off. And every single time it went off, it went off like four times, it would wake up Rowan because I pulled him into the bed with us because I was like, I can't do this anymore at like 7.30 this morning, which normally is when he wakes up, but I was exhausted. So I was like, okay, I'll try to get another half an hour of sleep. That's alarm just kept going off and kept going off and kept going off. It's been a rough one, <laughs> but I am doing a vlog today anyway. It's gonna be a fun day, I think. I'm actually going to get my hair done, which is really exciting. Um, I haven't done it in over a year and I have been too nervous to do it with COVID. Um, I'm still definitely nervous to do it, but they're taking a lot of safety precautions and really locking down, so there's barely even gonna be anybody there. Um, and I'm getting desperate at this point because my hair looks awful. <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep as much of the length of it as I can although I do know I'm gonna have to cut it because it's pretty damaged um, and I'm gonna lighten it up which should be fun this little man just sped up on me but at least his slow Christmas PJs are clean we're gonna get ready for the day and have some breakfast I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause Okay, so Matt took Rowan for a little bit um, And put him down for his nap So he's sleeping now And I got all ready for the day Minus doing anything with my hair For obvious reasons um, and this is my little outfit. I'm wearing this little sweater lounge set that I actually just got on Amazon. I really, really love it. It's the prettiest, like, super light peach color, and I think it was only, like, $33. Um, it's very wrinkled right now because I definitely left it <laughs> in a ball on my floor after I wore it earlier this week, so, oops. I might change this when I go to the salon um, because I never get to wear dresses anymore because I'm breastfeeding and it's very difficult to wear dresses when you're breastfeeding. So I might take the opportunity of being out of the house to kind of dress up a little bit even though I'm just going to be sitting under a cape <laughs> in a chair. But we'll see. I don't know. Maybe I'll wear this. But for now, I'm feeling very cute and comfy. I love this because it feels like I'm wearing pajamas, <laughs> but it's way more cute. So I feel a little bit more put together. This is linked on my Amazon storefront. So all of the stuff that I own that's from Amazon um, is linked in my description box in every video. I think it says like shop my stuff and there's a little link. It's like amazon.com slash shop slash Megan Acuna or something like that. Um, but if you guys want to pick one of these up, they have them in a lot of different colors too. I really want to get the like sage green set um, and the white one because totally I'm going to wear this all the time. So before I get any farther in this video, I want to mention that I'm doing this video in collaboration with my friend Ashley, who runs the channel Embers and Ash. And if you guys like my content, you would absolutely love her channel. She is also a young mom and her son Rook is only two weeks younger than Rowan. Um, and we met on Instagram. <laughs> As you do these days, it's so hard to find a mom community because you can't go to like the new parenting groups or anything. Um, but I'm so glad that we met on Instagram. But she and I are so much alike. I love her style. Her son is the cutest and she makes really amazing videos. Her videos are so like aesthetically pleasing and well done. Um, so I'll insert a little clip here from her channel so that you guys can kind of see what she's about. But she's also vlogging her day in life today. Um, so I will leave a link down in the description as well as a card in the corner 
corner so that you guys can click over and see that video when you're done with this one. I highly recommend her channel. She's super cute and it's really fun and everybody needs more family vlogs in their life, am I right? I just uploaded my receipts from my grocery shopping yesterday to Fetch. This is not <laughs> sponsored in any way, um, but I've just been using this and really liking it. It like gives you points for scanning your receipts. Um, and I think you get a bonus if somebody refers you. So I'll put the code down below because um, you can redeem the points for gift cards and it's like free money because I'm doing the shopping anyway, so I might as well. Our apartment is a mess right now. <laughs> Here's the Ikea high chair that I bought on Facebook Marketplace that I'm going to do like a makeover for. I will definitely vlog it when I do it because I think it's gonna be really cute. Um, and there's just kind of stuff everywhere. I've got Rowan's Christmas presents all piling up here next to a pile of pumpkins. I definitely will also do a, a video on everything we're getting him for Christmas. It's mostly just stuff we need um, for like starting solids and everything, but might as well wrap it up for Christmas because it's cute. And then this, Matt wrapped last night. It's my Christmas present. And I don't know what it is, so leave your guesses in the comments because it's kind of killing me. Hey puppy girl. <gasps> Hi, sweet bun. Oh, <laughs> not interested. It's also looking very festive in here. I put up this garland last night. I hate these blinds. I cannot wait until we can move into a house and I can get nice like bamboo Roman shades. But I do think that spruces it up a little bit. Although it does block my sign. I should probably fix that. This is my hair situation, by the way. It's pretty long and it's definitely like scraggly at the bottom. So I'm gonna cut a little bit off. Like I said, I'm gonna go a little bit lighter. Um, it actually looks okay right now because I just brushed it. But when I haven't brushed it in like a couple of hours, it just looks like straw. And so much of it is falling out postpartum. So I'm very excited. I think I'm also gonna do like little face framing side pieces, but we'll see. I have a little while until I have to leave for the salon. Rowan is miraculously still sleeping. Um, and I just got a new yoga mat in the mail a couple of days ago that I ordered. And I'm not feeling like a workout. It's not like what I feel like my body needs right now, but I do want to use this because it's really cute. So I think I'm just going to do some like gentle stretching, move my body a little bit. Um, I woke up pretty frustrated this morning because of last night. So I think it'll be nice to just kind of take a couple of minutes to move my body. Show you what it looks like here. <laughs> Isn't this the cutest thing? I don't know how I feel about it being white. It's probably gonna get really dirty, but I think it's really cute. So grandma just called, so my, uh, my stretches got cut a little short, but it was nice to get to chat with her for a little bit. Rowan woke up, um, so she got to say hi to him on uh, Google Duo, I think is what we used. So that's nice, now we're just hanging out. Daddy's playing some stardew valley because he took a half day from work to babysit <laughs> i guess it's not really babysitting since it's your kid take care of rowan while i get my hair done <laughs> how are you mister how was your nap are you looking at the tv no screen time sir that's my boy oh my gosh Remember how I said I might change for the salon? Now I have no choice because we just had the blowout to end all blowouts on me. Thanks, buddy. Hey, dude. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Somebody's very proud of themselves because this is the extent of what got on his outfit. That's it. That little tiny spot. But my outfit is just wrecked. How did that even happen? It was like a water slide. It was like poop. <laughs> oh my gosh. A poop slide. Um, you need to get that out of there as fast as possible. Yeah, I'm going to start working on it right now. <laughs> okay, the internet said to rinse this in cold water, then let it soak with stain remover and detergent, then wash it with stain remover and then lay it in the sun to dry, which is kind of a problem because we live in Seattle, so the sun is non-existent. I am back in my pajamas and about to stress eat some fudge. This is what happens when I try. <laughs> Got some leftover curry with sweet potato and onion and carrot and chicken and rice that I made earlier this week for lunch. Um, and then I'm probably going to try to kind of top off feed Rowan so Matt only has to give him one bottle while I'm gone. And then it's time to leave. Okay, we are on our way to the salon. This is kind of my color inspiration. These are all um, the girl who's doing my hair. This is like her um, portfolio. All right. <laughs> well, 
that didn't go exactly according to plan <laughs> basically it I mean you could see it's a little bit lighter but it doesn't really look all that different than when I went in I was like gonna do a whole transition and everything and then like it was done and like I it, I don't even feel like it would have been like a big enough difference to even do a transition all right so I'm home we're gonna go see what Matt thinks you're right it looks no different it looks the same looks right exactly the same. okay that looks good. there's a little highlight like right in that one front piece this is like the comparison what I asked for versus what showed up. I think you're pretty though. You look like Jennifer Aniston. You're sweet. That's probably the turtleneck that you're wearing though. Look who's been waiting for you. <gasps> Say hi mommy. Here it is in a different light. I feel like there's one blonde strip. Like right here. And the rest of it <laughs> looks the same. I know this is such a first world problem to have and I'm grateful that we're able to afford for me to get my hair done at all. But, you know, we're short on time and things have been crazy and it's like, as new moms, you don't get to do a lot to take care of yourself. So, when you do and it doesn't work out, it's just kind of disappointing, you know? I just got blown out again! What is with this day? I literally said two minutes ago, should probably do a diaper check. And you're like, yeah, he is stinky, isn't he? Keep scrolling on phone. <laughs> It's been a hard day. I thought I could he, wait two minutes. He leans forward and I'm like, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. I'm laughing so hard. I'm crying. Yeah, there's a little, little yellow spot right here. Ah, unlike in my hair. That's all, folks. Hey, <laughs> hey guys, good morning. Thought I would take the vlog into today. It's Saturday. It's about halfway through the day. I'm in PJs because it's the freaking weekend. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna do a little bit of journaling to uh, kind of reflect on 2020. I'm like gearing up to make my 2021 vision board, um, which I know a lot of people said that they wanted to see. Um, vision boards for me are a huge tool for achieving my goals and have been really effective. But I wasn't sure if like all of you guys would be interested in that or like only a few people. So let me know what you think. But yeah, I'm gonna try to put off making the vision board for a little while longer because I still don't know what the rest of this year holds. So. I'll definitely want to adjust my goals based on where I am closer to the end of the year. Sorry, the vlog got a little bit derailed. Um, I definitely want to show like real life and you know, sometimes you go to the salon and it doesn't work out and um, I think it's, you know, good to say that but I also don't want to be super negative and like a bummer on here either. I want this to be an uplifting space for you guys. Doing a little exercise from the Magnolia Journal. Okay, so I finished that and it was actually more eye-opening than I thought it would be. So I thought I would share kind of my hindsight thoughts for myself for 2020 because maybe some of you guys can relate to some of the things that like I've been learning this year. So the first question that it had asked me was if 2020 had changed like my life's pace. And I definitely said yes because of everything going on. But also for me, I feel like initially I slowed down when everything hit and we started quarantining. Um, but then when I had Rowan and started to go back to work, the pace of my life was crazier and more hectic than it had really ever been before. Um, and it took a lot of work and I'm still working on slowing that back down and finding that balance. And I think this year for a lot of us has shown the value of being a little bit less achievement minded and taking things one day at a time because for me I always have these like big picture goals and like some of them were impossible like actually impossible to accomplish this year because I had like one of my goals for this year was to shoot a certain number of weddings because I'm a videographer and obviously all the weddings got canceled and banned so that couldn't happen um so knowing that it's okay to not achieve those goals and positive. Do you have anything to say about how the pace of your life has changed this year? Babies are exhausting. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's nice not commuting every day. Like I haven't commuted mm. for eight months and that's half an hour to 45 minutes, you know, each way. So an hour at yeah. least that I've gotten back every day. So I guess I would say that has slowed my pace of life because I'm, I'm getting almost an extra hour of sleep. So yeah, not having to like rush around and get ready like every morning and then get in the car and then rush home to like help mm. you. I don't know what it's like to be working out of an office and have a baby and, and wife at home. Which is and, crazy. And, and yeah. Given that Rowan's almost five months old. Yeah, so 
that'll be that'll be interesting going back to that and For what sure. that's gonna be like so i would say it's definitely a little bit slower then it asked, list all the things and words that can help motivate and energize you for the year to come. This one was kind of eye-opening for me because typically at the end of the year, all of the things that I'm thinking about to motivate and energize me are gold. This year, I like I wrote down presence, fulfillment, contentment, creativity, purpose, intention. Um, and the word that I chose for 2021 was presence because rather than focusing on goals, I wanna focus on being present where I'm at Having Rowan has helped with that a lot because I've been really focused on being present with him because I know these days are so fleeting and he's not going to be small for very long. But cause, so I guess I took this question as like I was trying to answer it from having right now a lack of energy and motivation, but I don't feel that lack. Mm, so I was okay. trying to say, okay, what's going to motivate me to be better? I was like, well, I'm I'm already feel like I'm performing. You're content. Yeah. You're that. very good at being content where you are and surrendering to God. And that's something I definitely need to work on. I'm very goals oriented and you're not. And I know in the past you've said sometimes you want more of that like yeah. drive and ambition. Yeah. And I feel like you've really had that with your Twitch channel. That would be, that would be nice and fun. And I'm hustling in that where I can, but I can't work full time, grow that and then be a present husband and father at the same time. It's okay, I'm gonna put this down. <laughs> I kind of fell off of it for the last two weeks because other things were more important. So what, if you had to pick a word for, I'm big on picking like a theme word for Con the year. Consistent, probably. So what does that mean to you? So like staying, staying on the horse, continuing to do those Wednesday Fridays. Cause like there was, I think it was last Friday. I was just like- Consistency. Yeah, consistency. I was just like, I don't feel like streaming. And so I didn't. And like, that's fine, you know, taking mental health breaks and all that stuff. But at the same time, like, you know, you gotta put in the work. I'm not used to having like a passion project like that. It's been cool to see you. <laughs> it's a different side of you. So. Which has been cool. Anyway. When you are standing in December 2021, what do you want to look back on and remember about your year growth or yourself? I wanna have better mental health. I wanna have more patience. I wanna have a cooler head because I tend to be kind of a hot head. <laughs> um, I wanna be present and enjoy where I'm at. So I'm just like hoping that Rowan is healthy and intelligent and developing well and just like that I haven't screwed him up. You know, I mean, I feel, we're gonna screw him up. <laughs> I feel a little bit of pressure, you know, just like as a father, I do everything right. Totally, you know? oh my gosh, I feel that <laughs> so much. I'm always worried about like, what pitfalls like would I personally fall into and like how can I combat those before they happen? I want to remember like family memories with him. Like this year we lost so much because we haven't been able to go anywhere. So like next year I'm hoping, you know, depending on how all of this goes that we're able to make some more memories as a family and do yeah. more things and like have a real Halloween and you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So the next one is about what drains you like listing the things that drained you this year and thinking of ways that you can kind of mitigate that in the next year this is another i feel like i like sat down to do this and i was just like oh i need to be in a little bit more of a positive mindset because i was bummed from yesterday but i didn't expect it to be like really big but i was like writing these things down and like coming up with solutions rowan drains me yeah sometimes sometimes that's true the middle of the night i was, like, I was sitting here an hour ago and i was just like why am i so tired oh yeah I was up at 1.30 and 3 and yeah. 5 and you know, it's not like she gets up or I'll get up, but like just being woken up, you know, and being disturbed is just like ruins your sleep. Yeah. I went in a different direction. I meant, I went more like emotionally draining, just things like mean comments on the internet. <laughs> I'm going to do some, some filtering in my back end to filter out certain phrases that people use that are not so nice so that those don't that come into my inbox, they just get filtered out right away. Shopping has been kind of draining for me. So I feel like for me instituting like no spend weeks and turning off my targeted ads on Instagram, I'm gonna do that because I don't know, I just feel like I, like I enjoy shopping, but I feel like this year, because there was such a high volume of things that we needed for having a baby, I've been exhausted with doing all the research and trying to find the best prices and like all of that, so. When we get fatigued because we're trying so hard to save money for this house that we're trying to buy. There are a lot of other things that we would like to do with our money, both for ourselves and for other people. Yeah, that is one thing I think we're good at is using our finances to like bless other people and help out what, like, when other people are having a hard time, which is yeah. really important to us. And I would like to turn the stress of consumerism and feeling like I need to have the newest thing or whatever like that's what's been draining me. And I wanna turn that off and use that money in better places because I am so incredibly blessed. I have everything I need, but you know, there's that, that pressure of like new, 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 new. And like, thankfully for me, 
most of the stuff that I do end up buying is second hand. You do a lot. Of, you're really good at second hand thrifting. Um, so that doesn't work so well with computer parts. No. <laughs> but yeah, it is still like, it requires my attention and I don't like that. So I want to... I want to kind of take that away as a, as a source of stress and my phone in general, like not even just the targeted ads. Like I need to stop having the reflex of picking up my phone and scrolling on Instagram. Like that's, I've talked about that before, but that's, that's not a good thing. Also conflict, just any kind of conflict, like with work. I don't know. I think not letting things affect me emotionally so much, just being more like, okay, like we can't agree on, you know, this price or this term or whatever. And just like letting it go instead of getting upset about it. It's kind of that like do no harm, but take no thing. My camera <laughs> memory card ended up being full because I wasn't expecting to have this little chat, but I like it. Okay, so on a more positive note, the last question was about the things that give you energy and how you can like intentionally put those into your day. I did put setting and achieving goals on coffee. this one for me. That's my first the one! Coffee gives me energy. I didn't like put like actual literal like caffeine, but I put like the morning quiet time where we sit down together and have a cup of coffee, like the experience of doing that energizes me more than like yeah. the caffeine itself. Cause I'll do it with decaf sometimes. I think that's something we should So it's, it's counter and counterintuitive, but like staying up late. Cause like she's been going to bed at like 10, 10 30. Then I've been staying up till midnight or 1 AM sometimes and just playing video games and having that time for me. And like, I feel like that's been really good for me the last couple of weeks. I also, for me, put going slower on creative projects. And like taking the time instead of being like, oh, I have to film this video while Rowan's napping. Be like, you know, it might take a couple of nap windows, but I'm gonna like do the pretty B roll. And like when I edit, take time to do like more animations and stuff because that's what makes me excited about my content when I feel like, wow, this video is really good rather than just like trying to hit a deadline. You have done a couple impromptu creative projects in like the last month or two. And mm -hmm those are when you've been at your happiest. That's a good point of like, not just from a work perspective, but also just like doing more like art projects, like for myself. Cause you're right, that really does energize me and kind of give me life. And, and I think part of that has to be doing those off camera mm -hmm. because I love doing the DIYs and stuff on my channel, but also when you're filming something, it's harder to focus on what you're doing and, and be present because you're like trying to get all the angles and, and all that stuff. So maybe working on just doing some more of that stuff just for me. And my last one was connecting with other moms and creatives. Yeah. As always, like I've made some really awesome friends. Case in point, Ashley, who I'm doing this video in collaboration with. It's been really nice to like connect with somebody who's also a young new mom who also does YouTube. Like when we like got a chance to FaceTime the other day, like that like made my whole day. Cause I, I felt like, you know, somebody got it. And that was really nice. Totally. My Wednesday nights with the guys. Mm, yeah. It's been really important having that time. All of your because, friends from three different states. Yeah. Especially because two of us have kids now. Anything else? No, I think, I think that's it. Well, thanks for doing this for yeah. me. Yeah. Sorry to like add 15 minutes to your vlog. No, that's okay. I would way rather have the focus be on this than on my bad hair experience. <laughs> this is way more valuable, I feel like, for us and for Hopefully you guys watching, maybe some of this resonated with you, I don't know. I think I'll actually just close the video out. So, thank you guys for watching. We love you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.